kal halalium kebad hawad aham lai hawa bahasham yahawashai baha rakak wadash which is ancient pelu hiru for all praises honor glory and love to yahawa in the name of yahawashai in the holy spirit all right Yahawa is the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, which can be only uttered in the Hebrew tongue, which the world ignorant calls Jah, Jehovah, etc. Yahweh Shai is the Son's only Hebrew name, which can be only uttered in the Hebrew tongue, who the world ignorant calls Jesus, Yeshua, etc. The Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit, the wisdom and understanding of these words, all right? the knowledge, the power given to Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, Amerindians, and Confucian faces that, that look like the so-called heathens, slacky, that look like the heathens, which are the so-called Caucasians, Chinese, Arabs, etc. All right. I want to say Tawadi Hawa for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutation to the sincere Akim, the 144,000 men, the one third men, women, and children, and let you to be saved. All right, the Spirit has got on me, man. And it's beautiful, all right? I want to entitle this video, all right? In the streets, there's no fear. In these streets, there's no fear, all right? And I'm going to go allegoric with this, meaning that I'm going to apply a carnal or a, 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 like a like a story a story um a story tone and break it to break it down to a spiritual to, to scriptural and spiritual level all right all right Yahweh Shai did it all the time and the prophets did it all the time Yahweh did it all the time all right so um let's see this let me get the first precept The Sons of Solomon, chapter 3, let's start at 1. It says, By night on my bed I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. The plug, you know, the man on the, um, the man that's on the block. It goes on to say, it's like, I will rise now. So it's in, it's in nighttime, get up out of bed and go about in the seat, go about the city in the streets in the broad ways i will seek him whom my soul loveth i sought him but i found him not the watchmen all right that's the plug that go about the city found me to whom i said saw ye him whom my soul loveth all right whom my soul loveth and that's who yahweh bahasham yahweh shai the wisdom and understanding these holy scriptures right it was but a little verse four it was but a little that I passed from them, but I found him whom my soul loveth. I held him and would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house, into the chamber of her that conceived me. I charge ye, O, all right? So we, so we brought, we, we seek, people will seek, you know, the men of the Lord. You know, and bring the wisdom and knowledge and understanding back to your homes. Assort themselves out through spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem and Moshe. All right. And the reason why I said, or I entitled this lesson is, um, the streets. In the streets, will be no. We must have no fear. All right. Slack yeah, I my mind is a off because I'm, I'm just a bit tired slack here, right? The spirit got me heavy and I gotta bring us lesson now, right? In the streets, we show no fear, right? To be in these streets, you gotta show no fear, right? We're looking, we're looking for the buyers of this truth. We're looking for the buyers of this word and Esau is more concerned about the men with Bibles in their hand and the men with, with bricks of cocaine or weed or whatever in their hands. Trust me. Esau is more concerned with them. They, that's his top priority. Esau is losing sleep over this shit. Alright? But in these streets, we got the highest job. We got the most dangerous job. 
in the world right now what the most profitable job in the end will be. The, re, the, the, the flip, the turnover is going to be way a hundred times more. A hundred times more. All right? Let's get the next preset. This is um, 2 Timothy chapter 1. And verse 7, your brother should know where I'm going with this. This is, let me see the verse above. Yeah, this is um, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. Wherefore, put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of the Most High. What's the gift? The talents. It's wisdom and understanding. Whatever your lot may be, whatever your office may be. All right? Remember it. Stir it up. It may be a new, it may be fresh, which is in thee by putting off, which is in thee by the putting on of, of my hands. For the most I have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that's why we're in the street, preaching love to our brothers, preaching that the most I love you and he wants you to come back home, but he's not going to accept you unclean. He's not going to accept you messed up. You got to come with a contrite spirit. A broken heart, and he's gonna clean you up, and he's gonna set you, set you in his in his house, in whatever role he sees he sees fit. Right? It says, verse eight: Be not therefore ashamed of, of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou yea in the street. Most I own us, yo. It's like the mouth you can't get out. This is the mafia. You can't get out. You're a prisoner. If you win, you win. The elect is in and they can't get out. But be thou partake of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Most High. The feds, the feds going to be us. They, they're looking. They're looking like I saw the movie Superfly. Yo. They're looking for a reason. And we ain't trying to be no under the radar, under the radar type of brothers that are pushing this product, so to speak. You know, this work, so to speak. Yeah, it works like it. All right, super fly. You know that guy was under the radar. Spoiler alert, right? That guy was under the radar until he got found out. The feds came for him and he flipped it over and he turned it over and came out clean. You know, but in this truth, you have our shimmy shy, our Don, our Father, he's gonna bring us out clean. All right. So in these streets, he's telling us, I need to give you fear. Do what I say, and you will not worry. All right? Let me get this out of the If it wasn't a prescribed list, but, uh, yeah, it's right next door. Next chapter. It's like you. It says 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yahusha. Right? And all things that thou hast heard of me among many, among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Yeah, recruit other brothers that can push this work. Recruit. That's what we're called to. All right? Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Or you endure this hardness. Stand firm. Don't be a punk. Don't be a, a bitch nigga. Don't be a civilian. Alright? It says, No man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of his life. Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up in high life. Don't get caught up in in in, in, in bitches and wine money and clothes and stuff like that, right? We got to be humble, and then the, then our Don, Yahweh, is going to lift us up, right? Hey, it's lucky if it offend any brother the way, the way I'm bringing this out, but you know, this is how the Spirit wants me to bring this out at this point in time, right? That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, right? That's what we're working for. We're working for our boss, our master, our lord, our savior, how about Hashem, how about Alright? Next precept.
Sirach chapter 2. Yeah, somebody should know where I'm going with this, man. This precept is fire for this lesson right now, man. All right. Let me see. Should I start with 11? Yeah, let me start with 11. It's always good to preach that. Yeah, Sirach 2 and 2 and verse 11. It says, For your heart is full of compassion and mercy. All right, yeah, you will slip up. Yeah, you will slip up as long as you don't, you don't, you know, tempt your heart because he's going to take away, take away his product from you, take away his talents. Long suffering and very pitiful and forgive its sins and save it from the time of affliction. So if you get hold by the police, the most is going to live you. They got to be a possible. If you get hold by, by two thirds, the most is going to deliver you. If you get hold by whatever it is, if you if well is afflicting you, the most I will save you in time. What it says, woe be to the fearful heart and faint hands and sinner that goeth two ways. Most I ain't dealing with them niggas, man. Most I ain't dealing with them niggas who who who, who hold out for a while. And I was I was thinking something to the spirit. Um it was you know, it was the lesson why I was getting into this plantation. Um like one of the major reasons I'm in this tree is like the affliction that we go through, this can't be it. This got to be the truth. The shit that we suffer, man, it can't be, it cannot be like something else but it. This gotta be the truth, bro. Like how since I come in this my affliction, I don't know man. I mean I've been through some shit in life, but in this truth, some affliction just yo. Know, Straight me the fuck out, yo. I say to Wadi Al Bashan, yo, Shai, for the affliction, you know. And I pray for mercy and so forth. But I know that the affliction coming because because it's like the more wisdom you gain, the more more affliction you get. Because you, you, the most I know you're strong, I know that you can endure. And scripture says, the most I don't give you more than you can bear. All right. So it says verse 12 again. Woe be to the fearful hearts. Destruction be to the fearful hearts and faint hands. And a sinner that goes two ways. Pray for strength. Pray for that, that, um, that, that those words in the Maccabees. You know, that got dismembered. Sought off all their members and so forth. You know. Those men stood their ground. Bro. I would glad to be you know, that, that strong. I pray that I'm that strong. They have dreadful tribulation you know i don't know what the how about shimmy osha but i'm praying how about shimmy osha make myself and my brothers ready and on point you know following the will the exact will the exact frequency the exact vibration the exact purpose of the how about shimmy osha bahavakata dash verse 30 want to him that is faint-hearted you know what the word faint means? It means that it has no life. You know? For he believeth not. What what does belief mean? Belief means that you apply something, you push it, you stand firm for it, no matter what the fuck people say. Therefore shall he not be defended. The most I ain't gonna defend no nigga like that. Most I'm gonna leave him to be fucked up by the demons the most I sent himself. Right? Want you that have lost the patience, and, and what will he do when your house shall visit you? Huh? When you don come and visit you, through the same, through the same Esau, through the same heathens that are pressing us, huh? And then when you come with with your house in his chariots, what the fuck you gonna do? All right, in these streets is no. To survive in these streets, we must have no fear. They that fear Yahweh will not disobey his word. They will stand firm. They will not cross the most high. Right? They that love him will keep his ways. They will follow the step by step. And it's all written in this book, this manual, this guideline. Right? So they that fear Yahweh will seek that which is well, pleasing unto him. We're going to pray. We're going to fast. We're going to try to keep the holy days. We're going to be genuine to brothers. Be honest with brothers. You know? 
endure any afflictions at work. All right? So the fucking is not an excuse in the kingdom. It's like we've been through that shit, so shut the fuck up and take your punishment double fold. Because thus saith the Lord, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. See that? Just love that word, law. Just strong. You know, they that love him shall be filled with the law. That law will be your backbone. That law will be the oomph. <laughs> that sort of the bud, <laughs> so to speak. All right? All right, don't let me get goofy with it now. Because this is, this is a serious spirit on me right now, you know? And, you know I'm going through affliction. And, and I know this is the strength of Yahweh Hashim of Shred that got me chugging on. Because I can't do this on my own. I tried it on my own. I, and I, and I was... I was Showing, I was showing a fool. If you check my testimony on my on YouTube channel, you see the shit. You hear the shit that I've been through. Nearly losing my mind, smoking weed and drinking, and you know, all a whole barrage of bombs. But we all went through that shit. And now it's time to be clean up and be a judge. Judge Dread says, "Yeah, Judge Dread never feared feared nobody though. We're the real Judge Dread." Except for verse seventeen. They that fear you, how will prepare their hearts as in your mind, love, and humble their souls in his sight. Won't be puffed up, you know, saying we will fall into the hands of the how and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. We will fall into the hands of the how we rather die by the hands of the how we rather suffer affliction by the hands of the how Yo, let me get a sound of precept, yo. Back up that. Get us out of precept. Wait there. Is it first Peter? Uh, I think it's 17. Just 15, then I could. Yeah. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 14. But if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye. Why? Because that's what you were made to do. That's what that's how strong you are. You ain't no punk. We ain't no punk, we ain't no soft ass niggas. Some next level shit, yo. And I feel the spirit growing. And be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Alright? Let me read on a little more. But sanctif but sanctify Yahweh power in your hearts. As in separate him. Alright? It's lock, yo. Let me get that word real quick. I'll check it out my phone real quick. Let me know what I'm saying. Separate. You know, could be um, could be something else. Yeah, sunk, sanctify, sanctify. Yeah, good. And that's G thirty-seven, right? And it's Hagi Adzo. All right, it says to make holy that is ceremony proof. I consecrate, yes, yeah, separate. Twadi hao, twadi hao, right? Separate your hao, shino shen, gird that shit. Be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason. That's people who want to buy a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. All right, fear your hao, not fear of mine. All right, I'll read that again. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you. A reason of the hope that is in you is like, why you got so much hope in this? Why y'all still out here? Why? Why? What the fuck we can live for, huh? What else we can live for? Nothing lasts forever. But the word of Yahweh Bashan of Shai. Having a good conscience, verse 16. Having a good conscience that that a good conscience was conscious con is with science is no. Right? It's having a good conscience. You know good, well and good what you're in. And you're grounded. That whereas they speak evil of you as evildoers, they may they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation of, in a mashia. Alright? And I gotta check myself in my good conversation. I was being, you know, part chopping niggas, yo. Barring all that shit. Because the scripture says the tongue is a world of evil, yo. Verse 17, for it is better. This is the point I didn't know. 
such so you know so, so much beautiful verses in this, right? Like uh, you know, um, flow into this. It says verse seventeen, for it is better if the will of the Most High be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. All right. So it's no fear in these streets. In the street life, in the street life, there is no fear. All right. The street life of preaching, just to be clear, all you little dummy, they're thinking otherwise. All right, and with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahara Kakwadash, Double Honest the Apostles, and Elder Brave, Great Stone, and uh, salutations sincerely. Stay strong, Akim, stay focused, keep growing. Shalom.